A groundbreaking new app is transforming the local agricultural landscape for the better. Former opinion writer Andres Dalbu realized that delayed and limited access to SAFEX market updates had a negative impact on grain farmers. Dalbu, who has a master's degree in mathematics for the, from the University of the Northwest, developed the Dale Vest app. Now, this offers farmers market information in real time, changing their decision making process and improving the way in which they price the grain. Well, he joins me now to tell me more about this app. Uh, Andres, thank you so much. Firstly, let's get that surname right. Dalbu. 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 Yes. All right, yes. fine. <laughs> now let's talk about your app. Exactly what is it that it, uh, what is it does, what does it do? Because uh, you've obviously seen uh, some sort of a, a gap in the market here and you were coming in to make it better. Yeah, I think I can maybe just get one, one step back. Uh, I come from a farming background. Um, my father is a farmer in the Free State, so uh, we, we sort of saw the gap uh, to get information to him quicker. Uh, I think he had a problem with, with uh, decision making in edging his farm, in edging his grain. Um, and, and thus the, the idea came to me to say, well, how can I get information to him quicker uh, and, and more accurate so that he can get better decisions, make better decisions on, on when to edge, how to edge, what instruments are available to him, um, and, and just give information more promptly to farmers on, on, on a regular basis. Mm. So is this app available at the moment? Yes, yes. Uh, you can download it at uh, the App Store for, for Apple or the Play Store for, for uh, uh, um, Android, is it? And um, yeah, it's free of charge. Mm. So if it's free of charge, and we'll, you know, we'll go back to how it's made the lives of farmers better. If it's free of charge, how are you making your money? The biggest portion is coming from adver uh, advertisement at this time. Um, the, the commercial farming industry at this stage, I think, has about 3,500 commercial farmers. Um, and, and on the app, at this moment, we have about 2,500 users, active users. Uh, so, so we have quite a big market footprint, if you can call it that. Uh, so, so a lot of guys are sort of uh, standing in queue to ask us if maybe they can add, we do some ads on the on the app, so that's that's the main income at this stage. Mm. So this is real-time information that it's given. What sort of progress have we seen? Have we seen any you know, a real tangible improvement by uh, what farmers are able to do now? Yeah, for sure. I think the, the, the easiest way to explain this, um, let's say a year ago when we started this whole project, farmers would call me because we do some trading for farmers and we do some hedging for farmers, and they'd phone me and just ask, listen, uh, what's the price doing? Uh, and I just had to tell them what's happening on the market. Now, these days, they're funny me and asking me, you know, what's happening in Chicago? I see Illinois is dry. I see there's a ship coming in from Argentina, and there's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, so, so just by the way they're asking questions, I can see it's, it's quite a different mindset already in this, in this short period of time. Yeah. And in terms of, uh, you know, accessibility, you did say that it is a free app. Uh, do you, you know, you said just the cell phone, and everybody's pretty much, uh, you know, you're ready to go. Yeah, that's all you need. Um, the, the whole or the main objective of this thing is, is to do it as easy as possible for the farmer. You know, these guys are working full day. Uh, they're on the fields plowing and, and, and harvesting and watching the rugby and doing everything they need to do. They don't have time to sit in front of the screen the whole day. Uh, so the main objective for us is to get the information to the farmer as easy as possible without him having to do extra, you know, to, to, to get this information. How did you <coughs> come up with this app? Just give us a bit of a background, you know, uh, information with that. How long did it take to put this together? Because one would think, yes, you come from a farming background, but how long did it take to get to the point where you are now? I'd say about... We started this project last year in July. I think it was about last year, July. We started with the programming of the app. Um, it's taken about what's now a year and, and a couple of months. Um, and, and the problem, we, or not the problem, the good thing is it's an ongoing sort of situation. So uh, uh, as we are talking to farmers, as we are rolling out new projects and, and new, new stuff on the app, we're getting information from them telling us, listen, we saw this and would you mind putting this on as well or putting this on this and this and giving us all sort of options and things that they think would make the app better and we try to do that you know we, we try to to make it better with every step of the way um, so so it's it's an ongoing process and we actually we like it a lot you know to to, to develop as as the need grows within the market mm. uh, reading something interesting here uh, that Dale Vest you're launching mm. a, a, a grain farmer of the year competition on the first of October what's that about we, well, the, the, the thing started with, with uh, us in the office sitting and talking and, and saying, well, there's no, there's no sort of a, a, a nationwide competition for farmers to, to encourage them um, to not only look at their yields on the farm, but also to look at, uh, let's say, the, 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 the aging side, the price that they get for their grain. 
so, so we thought maybe let's let's try and do something different and, and, and get a competition out there to make the farmer aware that uh, a, a big percentage of his farm profits comes from the sapphic side, from the from the aging and the marketing side, and that's. Uh, more often than not, that side is, is sort of left behind in, in, the, in the farmer's planning. Um, so, so we thought, let's make a competition where we give the farmer, given his yield and, and his acres that he's planting or his hectares that he's planting, um, let's give him uh, a competition where he has to, has to do some effort and make some extra effort to, do, to get the best price in the market on the application. Everything happens on the app. Um, and the combination of your yield uh, and then the price that you get for that yield will then determine for us uh, uh, what we call the Dalvest Farmer of the Year. Fantastic innovation right here on the African continent, yes, right here in South Africa. Andres, uh, best of luck with that. Uh, you will be coming back to give us an update on how, sure, you think, how you're doing that. Thank you so much. Uh, that was Andres Dalbu, yes. right? Founder and Director of Agriculture Service Provider Dale Vest.